What is a cache miss? A cache miss is a request for data from the cache that cannot be filled because the data is not present in the cache. So what does a control unit do when a cache miss occurs? Step one, send the original PC value to the memory. Step two, instruct the main memory to perform a read and wait for the memory to complete its access. Step three, write the cache entry putting the data from memory in the data portion of the entry, writing the upper bits of the address from the ALU into the tag field, and turning the valid bit on. And step four, restart the instruction execution at the first step, which will refetch the instruction, this time finding it in the cache. Suppose that a store instruction, we wrote the data into only the data cache without changing main memory. And after the write into the cache, memory will have a different value from that in the cache. In such a case, the cache and memory are said to be inconsistent. The simplest way to keep the main memory and the cache consistent is to always write the data into both the memory and the cache. This scheme is called Right through. Although this design handles writes very simply, it would not provide very good performance. With a write through scheme, every write causes the data to be written to main memory. These writes will take a long time, likely at least 100 processor clock cycles, and could slow down the processor considerably. One solution to this problem is to use a write buffer. A write buffer stores the data while it is waiting to be written to memory. The alternative to a write-through scheme is a scheme called write-back. In a write-back scheme, when a write occurs, the new value is written only to the block in the cache. Write-back schemes can improve performance, especially when processors can generate writes as fast or faster than the writes can be handled by main memory. A write-back scheme is, however, more complex to implement than write-through. 